So the first thing I want to do in this design is I want to create a new component inside of this. So I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to say new component and I'll call this foundation. So now this one's active. I'll tell it I want to create a sketch in here. I'll pick this plane because it's asking which plane I want to create my sketch on. I'll pick this one right here and I'll use a center rectangle. Start my rectangle on the origin. Come out and it's asking for a dimension. I want to go 7 feet in this direction and 11 feet in the other. So if I zoom out, you'll see that I have the 11 by 7 rectangle that I just drew. I'm going to stop the sketch, and I want to create an extrusion that allow me to take this and drop it below that sketch plane 6 inches. So I'll go negative 6. If I look at this from a nice isometric view here, you'll see that I've got 11 by 7 by 6 inches. So I want to create another component in this design that will allow me to be the posts of my bus stop. So I'm going to come up here, and I want to tell it I want to create a new component. And call it posts. I'll create a sketch on the top surface of the other uh, of the foundation, and I'm going to project into the sketch the outer profile or the entire face. That way, I can offset that in a little bit. So I've projected that in, into the sketch using command like O for offset. I can select this, drag it in, and let's say I want to have it offset 6 inches all the way around. So I'll use negative 6. Now one other thing I can do here is I can actually make all of this geometry into what they call construction geometry, which means the software won't see it as being part of a profile that I'm going to extrude or evolve. I'm going to make two point rectangles here. That will be each of the posts. I want these to be 6 by 6. I'll draw one in each corner. I could dimension each one, but I'm going to do it here in a second is I'll constrain them so that they're all going to be the same. I also want to center support here in the back. I'm going to just draw it kind of out here in space, and we'll deal with that one in a second. So I'm going to use an equal constraint to say that this one is equal to this one. This one is equal to this one, and kind of just follow that chain all the way around. That way they're all going to be the same size. I could also use something called a collinear constraint to do that. That would make sure they're on the same line, but equal will work out nicely here. Set this one equal to this one, and then this one equal to this one. So now I want that post centered on the back there. How would I go about doing that? Well, I can create a point that... I'm going to kind of just drop right here. I'm going to tell the point that it falls on the midpoint of this line. I'm going to tell that this point also falls on the midpoint of this line. It's going to connect those two, and now they're nicely constrained where I want them to be. So I'm going to stop this sketch. I'm going to kind of orbit around here a little bit. I'm now going to extrude those posts. Tell it I want to go 8 feet. That looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and accept that. Now I've got my posts. So now I'm going to create another component. We'll call this the roof. I'll tell it I want to create a sketch. I'll tell it I want it to be on top of one of my posts. And the size of the foundation actually will work well here. So I'll just go ahead and project that foundation in again. And I can use that as the profile that I'll extrude for the roof. So I've got that profile. I'll tell I want to create an extrusion. I'll tell I want to use this one. And also got that face there. So I'll make sure I get both of those. Let's go up 30 inches. But also, let's taper this in maybe 60 degrees. I we'll actually want to go in 60 degrees, so I'll have to make it a negative. You can see we get a nice peaked roof on the top of our shelter. So what I'm going to do here is I also want to create a um, create glass on either end here and create those glass panes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another component. 
tell it that I want to create a sketch, but I want it to be halfway through the thickness of this post. So I'm going to create a midplane that goes between here and here. That will be basically it's a plane that's halfway between those two. Now I can use that as my sketching plane. So I'll create a sketch on that plane. I'm going to project into the sketch each of these sides. And now I can draw a two-point rectangle that goes from this side down to here. And I can then dimension that so that it is so far from the top and so far from the bottom. So let's say I want it maybe a foot from the top and a foot from the bottom. Go ahead and stop my sketch. I have that. Now I can extrude this. And I'm going to use a symmetric extrusion. That way it will go a little bit in both directions. I use, I'm going to tell it I'm going to use the whole length and set this to, let's say, a quarter of an inch. Say OK. And there we go. And actually, let's make this window. So now I have the one window created. What I could do is I could create another one on the other side, or I can actually just reuse this one by creating a pattern. So what I'll do is I'll actually activate the top level assembly here. And now I'll go ahead and create pattern, rectangular pattern. Here it's going to ask, well, what am I trying to, to pattern? I'll go to components. I'll select this window. It's going to want to know a direction. So I'll pick this edge here, knowing that it's parallel to that edge. And I want to create the, the pattern. I'll tell you I want to create 114. I know 114 inches apart. I only need two of these. So I'll go ahead and say OK. And now you can see I've got the other window. So now I'm going to create the back wall. So I'm going to kind of orbit around here at the back. And just like I had done before, I'm going to create a new component. I'm going to also create the mid-plane work plane that will give me a good place to create my sketch. Got that. Say OK. Now I'll create a sketch on that plane. And just like I did with the windows, I'll project the four sides in. I'll create my same two point rectangle. And I'll create the dimensions for the heights. I'll stop my sketch. I'll create the extrusion. Tell it I want it to go symmetrically. I'm defining the whole length. Say OK. And also, let's call this wall or wall panel. And what we'll do now is we'll just pattern it to the side then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the top level. So now I'm going to go up here and I'll tell it I want to create a pattern, rectangular pattern. I'll pick this pane. I'll tell it that I want to pattern it in this direction. I only need two of them. And let's see how negative 57 looks. Looks pretty good. Go ahead and say OK. And there is the shelter. So now that we've got this, let's add some more interesting colors and more realistic appearances. So under Modify, I can deal with the physical appearance or the physical material or the appearance. I'm going to go to just the appearances here for what we're working on. And let's see what we want to use under Other. We should be able to find Environment. And maybe there's concrete. Concrete isn't downloaded yet, so I'll go ahead and click on it to download it. And then once it's done downloading, I can click and drag and apply it 
to the foundation under the uh, the the paint category we've got some glossy and maybe we'd like to add paint enamel glassy black or glossy black to our posts and maybe the same to the roof that back panel if we want to do something a little bit more interesting we could find something there but let's worry about the glass right now so we'll go to the smooth there's glass clear I want to drop it on this pane and it automatically patterned over to this one here so that's great and let's find something interesting for the for the back wall Let's go back to the paints. And if you want to put a metal flake or even we'll just stay with the, the glossy and find just a different color here, maybe like a green. You can see it applies it to both of those. Let's go ahead and save this.